Good afternoon from Australia. Welcome to my life, which is usually on a Monday. However, today is obviously Tuesday. And if you're watching the replay, it is any day that you choose to watch the replay. So yeah, we are one day late. Unfortunately, we had to attend emergencies yesterday. Um, so that sometimes happens in our line of work in immigration that there is emergencies and sometimes we just, you know, um, have to change plans. So thank you for your flexibility and for now joining me for the life that was meant to be yesterday and is held today. So as you can see on the title of the um, live video, we are talking about the global talent visa. That was the winning topic. And it was a very strong race uh, or, you know, voting competition. So we had, again, as always, three topics to choose from. We had Administrative Appeals Tribunal, the AAT. We had Prospective Marriage Visa. And then we also had the Global Talent Visa. And we had a lot of votes for all three topics. And um, the most votes, just, just by very few, is the Global Talent Visa. So as you know, you can vote by either in the stories on Instagram and Facebook. You can also vote um, by commenting on the posts that we do on all our social media channels. Um, and sometimes we also get direct messages, date DMs with um, people voting. So all the votes are getting taken into account. And make sure that you vote, okay? That way you cannot complain if your topic is not chosen. If, obviously, if you have picked another topic, then that's a bit different. So again, um, as always, give me a like and a share of this live when you're joining us. So I see there's a few people on Facebook. There's a few people on Instagram. We also recently got permission to broadcast live on LinkedIn, which we will be starting as well very soon. For now, we're keeping it on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll then publish on LinkedIn as well as on our YouTube channel. And look, um, you may or may not know, we have been doing this live since start of the year, start of 2021. So we are now into it for seven months or six and a half months. And so there's a lot of videos, a lot of topics. So I encourage you to go into our library, wherever you are, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, go to, into our library and then see all the topics that we have talked about. Um, and so give me again, give me please give me a like that is just for the algorithm so that we can keep doing these things because obviously if there's no people attending these lives then you know there's no need for it um, and I'm more than happy to share my knowledge for free for an hour or for well usually it's only 30 minutes now 30 minutes a week and, but I want to see, obviously, I want to see engagement and I want to see that people are wanting this information from me. <laughs> so yeah, please, please give me a like, give me a share. Also, your questions, please put them in the comments. All right? So that's how it works with regards to communicating. So I see, actually, I need to open my Facebook on my computer. So just... Bear with me because I can't see the questions or the comments on my phones. So I'm talking to two phones. I have Facebook here. I have Instagram here. Um, right. So where are we? Here we are. And before I get into the topic of Global Talent Visa, which is a really, really great visa option for both people who are already in Australia, as well as people who are outside of Australia, okay? So it's for onshore and offshore. And I will kick off the content in 30 seconds. Before that, um, 
Before that, I would like to encourage you to also join our Facebook group because there is a lot happening um, in the group as well as um, how we work with it um, because we will post the news information will be posted to the Facebook group first. So, um, Far, my beautiful assistant, can you please put the link to our Facebook group onto the Facebook Live? And that way people can just click on it and join the group. Um, or you can just search on Facebook, Ospire Immigration Australia, and that way you'll find the, the, um, the group. And the benefit really is, obviously, it is free. Um, you will get the information first in the group. That's where we share it very first thing. We're not doing it on Instagram. We're not doing it on LinkedIn, not on anywhere else, just on the group. Okay, so that is the benefit to get the information there. Also, I, I will be providing you more information and free advice in the group than anywhere else. All right, so there is lots of benefits to join the group. So, yep, Far just posted our link to the Facebook group, which you can see there. So just click on it and then you can join the group. And like I said, it's free and you can just, you know, check it out. There's lots of information, lots of content. So, yeah, okay, let's get started. So, again, I have my notes, so don't forget anything. And I want to keep it short and sweet, like always, so it's easy for people um, to just, you know, join in for like 20, 20 to 30 minutes. That's my, that's my goal, to keep things 20 to 30 minutes, short and sweet, and also for people to watch the replay. All right, so... The Global Talent Visa is a permanent visa. What that means is, so sometimes, you know, there's temporary visas, either just, just temporary, like student visas, for example, they're just temporary, and there's no pathway to PR. Then there's other visas, they are starting off as a provisional visa, such as subclass 491, starting off as a provisional visa, and then they're leading up to permanent residency, so there's a pathway to permanent residency. And then there's visas such as the Global Talent Visa. And once you get that visa approved, you get permanent residency straight away. Upon approval, you get permanent residency straight away. One of the reasons why this Global Talent Visa is so relevant in current times with the pandemic and Australian borders being closed since March 2020 is that with that Global Talent Visa, you do not need a travel exemption. Meaning, if you're offshore, outside of Australia, you can, you can, you can come to Australia. Because as, you, as many of you may be in the situation, uh, as many of you are in the situation, you have an approved visa, however, you are stuck offshore and you can't get into Australia because you don't have an approved travel exemption. Yeah? So with that Global Talent Visa, you do not need a travel exemption and um, you, yeah, you can come to Australia, um, which is wonderful. So the Australian government, they see the Global Talent Visa as one of their priorities. Yeah? And that's why, you know, they want to attract people who are eligible applying for this Global Talent Visa. And then they're happy for them to enter Australia without any further complications. All right. So it's really important. Listen carefully because there is obviously requirements. OK, so with any visa, it's always important that you are meeting the requirements. Otherwise, there is no point of starting the process. Um, now, we do have one comment on Facebook, and before I continue, I just want to see if, I don't think it's actually relevant to the Global Talent Visa, but just give me one second, and I'm just going to read it. Yeah, uh, so Abdel Rahman Ahmed Safan, um, your, your comment, unfortunately, is not relevant to this topic, Global Talent Visa. Um, I'm happy to answer the question after the live, okay, so that people who have joined 
the life specifically for that topic that they don't get distracted and bored because I'm talking about something, you know, you asking about sponsorship. So um, actually, um, talking about that, there is a live in our library about employer-sponsored visa, visas. Um, Far, can you maybe look in the YouTube library of the Money Lives and maybe send or comment or reply to that person with a link to that YouTube video? Um, and then maybe um, Abdel Rahman, you can perhaps watch that video and see if that already helps you. And otherwise, you can also book an appointment for a consultation. Yeah, and in the consultation, we can then answer your questions and give you personalized advice because this life um, and anything on social media, obviously, we're not we're not able to give you tailored, personalized advice. For that, you need to book an appointment for a consultation with either myself or one of the migration agents on my team. Okay, um, Far, can you please also put the link for the um, book and a book book a consultation? Um, and that way, Abdel Rahman and others. Sorry, um, we, I just got kicked out uh, or paused. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. Sorry, Facebook is back. I'm not sure about Instagram. Um, oh, okay. Um, I think that's happened because Far accessed YouTube. Um, Right. Okay, I just need to do something. Sorry about that. Um, I just need to... Um, Okay, far. This is a lesson learned. We're not doing this again. You c cannot access anything related to Google um, during a life because otherwise we're getting kicked out um, of Instagram. And luckily, Facebook is still going, I believe. Can you just... Um, yeah, I believe... Can someone please comment that they can still see me um, on Facebook because... <laughs> Um, otherwise, I need to um, start again. So, if you if you're watching live, so I, I can see there's apparently four people. Can someone please comment a yes or something that um, that you can see me and hear me? Okay, wonderful, thank you. Um, is it maybe Heike? I'm not sure, I'm still working, amazing. Thank you. So now I'm just looking back into um, Instagram, so please bear with me. Um, okay, this is definitely a lesson learned. I'm not doing this again. I wanted to be helpful and I wanted to be prompt because you know, when I can, then I like doing that. But unfortunately, it's um, the systems are not happy with that, so we have to avoid that. Um, okay, I'm just sorry. I'm just doing this. Um, great. All right, so we're coming back to, so we're live, back live on Instagram. Apologies, Instagram, um, we have learned from that. And thank you for the Facebook people who hung in there um, and waited patiently. Okay, so Global Talent Visa, as I said, it's a permanent visa, so you get PR straight away, no travel exemption required, which is another Big, big bonus, especially when you're offshore. You can also apply for that visa if you're already onshore, okay? So if you're currently onshore in Australia already, on a student visa, on a graduate visa, on some other visa, um, the Global Talent Visa is a great 
visa option, obviously if you're meeting the requirements, and I will mention the requirements shortly. Um, so how it works is um, it's very diff it's yeah it is it is kind of um, a unique visa in regards to it just works differently to any other visa, all right? Um, because so you need to be nominated. You need to be nominated by either a person or an organisation who is um, reputable in your area of talent. And the areas of talent, and I'm going to read that out to you, um, are, so there is, there used to be seven and now it's ten. Yeah, so there is now ten target sectors. And, okay, so the first one is resources. Second one is agri-food and agri-tech, so agricultural. The third one is energy. Fourth one, health industry. Fifth is defense, advanced manufacturing and space. Sixth is circular economy. Seven, digital technology. Eight is infrastructure and tourism. Nine is financial services and fintech. And 10 is education. So from the people who are watching live, is there anyone who has a talent, a skill, work experience in that, in, in any of those 10 fields? So um, far there's a comment on Instagram uh, from Raj, um, again, not relating to this topic, can you please comment and just um, say um, to book an appointment for a consultation. Um, so yeah, so let me know, is there anyone on the live today who has any, you know, where this is relevant to them, where they're working in any of those fields? Like, for example, um, what we find is quite popular, definitely education, finance industry, infrastructure and tourism, um, also technology, as well as um, health industry, of course, um, energy. Um, yeah, so let me know, because then we might we may be able even to, to use a case study, um, to use the person as a case study, um, so it can explain the Global Talent Visa a bit better. So give you a moment to let me know. You need to be brave. <laughs> I'm gonna hold your hand. It's, you know, nothing's gonna happen to you. You're gonna benefit from this. This is going to be a free session for you. So you're saving hundreds, hundreds of thousands, sorry, not thousands, <laughs> hundreds of dollars, um, which is which is usually um, the fee for consultation with me. So do we have anyone who is working in any of these target sectors? Okay, so yeah. Mm. We've got, so we've got a comment on Instagram, heavy plant, diesel mechanic, that is not, not part of that. So, okay, so I'm going to explain, maybe it's a little bit too abstract for you, maybe I need to explain a little bit more. Um, so, talent means you need to be internationally recognized. Yeah. So, you need to be internationally recognized for your exceptional and outstanding achievements in your talent. Okay, so in one of these areas that I just mentioned. So usually it is good for PhD students and also for PhD graduates and also for people who just, um, you know, for example, have published articles in magazines, have published books, people who have attended conferences, ideally international conferences, and I know this is obviously a little bit hard now with the pandemic where 
you know. But actually, having said that, nowadays conferences are virtual. So virtual conferences. So anywhere where you have displayed your talent in one of these 10 sectors. Okay? Now, um, the reason why this is such a great visa is, like I said, can be onshore or offshore. There's, if you're offshore, there's no travel exemption required. There is no age limit. Because usually people have, or visas have age limits. Um, usually 45 is the age limit for a permanent visa, unless you do Dharma. Dharma has age limit of 50 in the Northern Territory, not everywhere, in the Northern Territory. Um, for the Global Talent Visa, you do not need actually formal qualifications. I did say the PhD, which is obviously the top formal qualification. However, you don't necessarily need it. If you can prove your talent otherwise, then you don't need it. It's not a requirement. There is no skills assessment, there is no points test. Um, English, you need functional English, which is very low. Yeah, very low in English requirements. And you can even just skip it and just pay what's called a second instalment. Yeah. Um, so either you do functional English or you pay the second instalment, which is available for certain visa types. All right. So you don't have to do an English test for all visa types. Sometimes we get, often times actually, we get that question, is there any visa um, available that does not require an English test? This is, for example, is, is an example. Great. Okay. So I talked about the talent. Oh, also, so you need the talent. You need to be internationally recognized. You also need to be nominated by either an Australian citizen or a permanent resident or an eligible New Zealander uh, or an Australian, organiza Australian organization with a national reputation in your area of talent. So that's very important. Okay. Um, so ideally, the ideal person for this visa is either a PhD student or a PhD graduate. Yeah. So the clients we work with, um, with the you know um, where we help with the application for the global talent visa, most of them are either PhD students or PhD graduates. Now, in the audience today, do we have anyone who is a PhD student or a PhD graduate? So any doctoral students or doctoral graduates? So a PhD is what you do after your master's. So you do your bachelor, your master's, and then the next step, if you continue your career in the um, academia, then the next step is PhD. So let me know if anyone is. Is studying a PhD or have has graduated. So can you please respond to all the people um, on Facebook? I see a lot of comments on Facebook that are not relevant to this topic. Can you just respond um, and ask them to book a consultation? Okay, while I'm waiting for people responding or commenting about PhD, so with regards to a consultation, um, you can just go on our booking page and that's where we explain exactly what you can expect from a consultation because in that consultation we will assess all your visa options, all right? So we will do the assessment. We also will explain the requirements. We also give a code of services um, where you can see all the fees that are you know, applicable to your pathway. Um, we can also map out a whole pathway to permanent residency and citizenship. And so you pay for the consultation and then when you engage our services so within two weeks of your appointment, we actually credit you the fee of the consultation. Yeah. So um, it's essentially like a free consultation. Fa, um, can you please reply to each individual person, not just post it in the comments, reply to each person because that way they get a notification. Okay, so um, 
I haven't seen anyone commenting. Maybe we just don't have any PhD students or graduates online today. Perhaps if you're watching this in the replay, please reach out to us, okay? Please comment. So even though it's obviously not going to be live, however, we will obviously always monitor all the comments that we get on our social media posts. Far, you're not, you're not replying. Sorry, I can see that on my screen. You're not replying. You are just you commenting. You need to reply. So hit reply. So for example, Mehul, Bart, um, Harris, Cornell. Um, there's a few people on Instagram. So you need to hit reply, not just comment. Sorry, I'm just giving instructions to my um, assistant uh, because I can't do both. I can't do. I can't. Well, I maybe could talk um, and you know read the, read the comments and also probably not type as well because. That, yeah, I think that would be a little bit too much. I'm already mastering multitasking, but unfortunately, um, I'm not able to, to talk and talk about something and type something else. Uh, I think I need two brains for that. Maybe, you know, in the future, I'm sure this is possible, um, or with some training. Um, great. So I can't see any comments with, the um, PhD, but yeah, if you're watching this in the replay and you have a PhD or you're graduating, um, studying and so on, then um, please comment and we will, we will be in touch with you. Okay, so this is a um, encouragement for all PhD. Also, if you're working in a job with a high income, not a job, sorry, it, not just a job, but it needs to be obviously in the target sector. Um, it needs to be in the target sector and um, you need to then meet the high income threshold which is $153,600 so $153,600 this is current, the current high income threshold so either PhD or high income threshold um, yes, and how it works. So once once we have established, so obviously, um, you know, we have a consultation. We are, we assess your eligibility, for example, for the talent visa, global talent visa, and then we start the application process. And so there is three elements to it. There is the exp expression of interest uh, with the identifier. And then also the nominator. Remember, you need to be nominated by a person or an organization. Um, and then when you're invited to apply, when you select it, then we apply for the visa. And then everything goes really fast. You will see. Because, like I said, the Australian government is prioritizing that visa type. That is one of the visas that they are prioritizing at the moment. Uh, in particular, do we have anyone from Hong Kong? Because Hong Kong passport holders are also being prioritized. Is there anyone from Hong Kong on, link, on Facebook or Instagram? Far, have you figured out how to um, reply to people? Um, okay, well, um, <laughs> I can't see any comments. Mm. That's okay. Um, okay, so I explained all the details. I explained the target sectors. I explained the three steps or the three elements to it. Um, and no one from Hong Kong, so it appears. That's fine. Again, if you're watching this in the replay, then please let me know 
just comment that you're from Hong Kong and then again, you know, there is another bonus for you if you're from Hong Kong. Um, is there any questions with regards to the Global Talent Visa? Please put it into the comment box um, on Instagram and Facebook. Any comments about the Global Talent Visa? Any comments about what I just um, explained to you during this live? Any comments, any questions? So Bhatia Saab has a question about the 489 visa. Um, this is unfortunately not the topic um, that we're talking about today. Um, we are talking about the Global Talent Visa, but again, um, after the live, we, I can um, post the link to the live that we did about the 489 visa or 491 visa. And then you can read that, but here, or not read it, I mean, you can watch it. It's obviously a video, so you watch a video. Unless, obviously, you can also read the subtitles um, if you are in the, you know, public transport or, I don't know, if you're somewhere where you cannot actually listen to my voice. Uh, what is this? Um, Tamarine is saying, I'm also interested in the Global Talent Visa as I'm in the film industry as a background artist and would like to do acting. I'm also a, fr a freelance graphic designer and artist. Yes, great. Okay. Um, the, so film industry is actually one of the critical sectors that have been um, declared by the Austrian government in regards to the pandemic and COVID. Um, so Tamarine, I definitely recommend for you to um, speak with us um, in more detail about that. We need to find out more about you. Um, so, you know, what you, what you mean by background artist, for example. But that is going in the, into the right direction. So um, film industry is, well, not necessarily, um, it depends what you have done in the film industry, but it is part of the creative sector. Yeah, so this is something that I talked about, was it last? No, last time I talked about the July changes. Um, I believe it was in regards to the um, priority skilled migration list um, with the 41 occupations. Again, it's a previous live. So it's probably really worth it to check out our library with all the lives and all the things that we've done in the past, um, in the past six and a half months, um, and just, you know, check out the videos um, and get free information. And if you need more information and more personalized information, that's when you book a consultation with my team and I. Also, did you know about that we pay $50 referral fee? So if you refer someone to book a consultation with us and they carry on, carry through um, and book the consultation, then we pay you $50. 50 bucks, 50 Australian bucks. Um, okay, so I can't see any questions. There is quite a few comments today actually, which I appreciate. Um, however, none of them are actually related to the talent, global talent visa. Um, maybe all the people who are interested in the Global Talent Visa, maybe watching it um, in the replay. Um, so if you watch the replay, please just follow the instructions, as I said, you know, like the video, let us know where you're watching us, where, where you're watching from, what, what city and what country, and also post your questions and your comments in the comments. Yeah, and we will make sure that we respond to it. 
So any um, general visa queries, they are getting answered by my assistant uh, and by our, social, by our social media team. And then any visa related questions, um, they need to be answered during a consultation. So that means you need to book a consultation. Okay, um, that's all I've had for today. Um, and I will see you next week for the next live. Make sure that you vote for your topic. That's very important. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Have a wonderful week. See you next time. Ciao for now.